With the introduction of the iBind, you set up, you're using five times less antibody, and as you can see with the two previous protocols, you're using 20 microliters. With the iBind, you're only using four. Same dilution, far less antibody, which saves a lot of money, because antibodies come in 100 microliter quantities. So you can already tell that's a lot of blots going down the tube versus the iBond where you can spread that out to do a lot of samples and get a lot of results in a very short period of time. The biggest thing that we um, were concerned with is the consumables because they were so great that any sort of uh, reservations we had about it would just disappeared. The biggest factor was the savings with the primary antibody and anyone that runs Westerns, that is your biggest cost expense is your antibodies. Um, antibodies will easily run you $400 for 100 microliters and you get maybe 10 runs. Well, we've multiplied that by 10 for the amount of runs that you can actually get from out of that single tube. So it reduces the amount of money we're taking out of the grant, which gives the lab the availability to actually do more with the money that we have at our exposure.